738, if you're just joining us this morning, we are talking about a great cause. How yeah. many years? Nine years, is it? It is nine. This is amazing. Carter Simino, you may recognize him. He's been here before. Uh, Carter, talking about the Williams Brother Diaper Drive, uh, we talk about it every year because it is a great cause. Yeah. But for folks at home that don't know, tell us about it. Yeah, so it started uh, originally as Julian's Diaper Drive, if yep. you remember. Uh, but John Williams, the executive director of Love of People Nonprofit, his sons, Julian Isaac, are now at the age where they can understand what service means. Which and, is wild because yeah. they were so small. And you, and they actually like are super involved with this diaper That's drive. Awesome. But yeah, it's it's an ongoing diaper drive for children's, adults' diapers, even puppy pads for the okay. fur babies, wipes, all those things. Uh, there's such an immense need in Acadiana for those. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we raised uh, about 16,000 diapers. This year our wow. goal is 50,000. And so we got drop-off locations all across Acadia wow. or Lafayette right now. Okay, well, let's talk about some of those drop-off locations. Yeah, so you ever been to Dino's on Bertrand? Far too many times that I've lost count. Yes, yes. it's, it's uh, today's, today's, what's today, Friday? It is Friday. It is Friday, okay, yeah. thank God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you, all, you go get a beer, go get a pizza, go to Dino's. You also get a beer and a pizza at Central Pizza downtown. Both of those locations have drop-off spots here at News 15. If you come through as a guest, if you work here, bring a diaper. I'm talking to all the staff here at News 15, guys. Bring your diapers, bring Hold your wipes. Let's do that. Come uh, back and be like, where are they? Yeah, uh, where are my diapers? <laughs> yeah. um, let's see. We also got Rise Physical Therapy and Sports Lab. I'll go over there to get dry needling on my back because, you know, I'm very bad at working out. I throw it out every time. <laughs> They're great over there. Um, we also got McMillan's Pub. We've got the Lafayette Visitor Center. We've oh, got wow. Hub City Ford. We've okay. got Cadence Bank, both locations. Um, we've got you know spots all over town. You can find all that on our website. I was going to say, do we have a full list on the website? Yeah, loveofpeople.org. We also have a, a little sheet where if you don't, you know, going through traffic, especially on Ambassador, maybe on a Friday, it's tough. You an Ambassador. Yeah, oh God, <laughs> it's the bane of my existence. Yeah. But you know, we also we have you know monetary donations right. so we can go pick it out for you. But we also have an Amazon wish list where you can go and pick out the, the diapers that. That, that we need. But yeah, it's all going to go to the community. And on the 20th, we have our distribution day where folks can come drive through the visitor center and pick up a box of diapers or whatever they need. And since you have been doing this now for a couple of years, what does it mean to the community? What's it like when you see the distribution? Well, I mean, yeah, it's it, it, just to, to help someone in it who, who needs diapers, you know, it gets so expensive. It yeah. just, just to offset maybe one box of diapers just goes a long way. But more so just the, to get families involved. They bring their kids to donate the diapers as well, and they Love get to kind of instill that, that value of service in them at a young age. Well, well, it's a great thing. Again, guys, we'll have all this information on our website. Carter, we appreciate you coming on. You're lucky I didn't wear a diaper. I almost did that. We are so grateful. Thank you. Al really that. wanted me to wear a diaper. Of course he did. <laughs> Storm Track 50 meteorologist Adam Olivier standing by. Also grateful that Carter did not wear a diaper. Yeah.